Hey, what's up guys? My name is Charlie. Today we're going to be watching some Nostalgia Critic and it's going to be some Double Dare Tribute. I <laughs> he said Double Dragon there for a second. Uh, <laughs> in my mind I was saying, don't say Double Dragon. Don't say Double Dragon. I must have Double Dragon in my head. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be some Double Dare Tribute and obviously it's going to be a tribute for Double Dare. I wish I could say I knew what Double Dare was. Is it a movie? Is it a TV series? I have no idea what Double Dare is. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're not going to be in the dark forever. We're going to find out what it's all about. So, uh, yeah, let's check out the video, shall we? Let's go. On your mark. Get set. Go, 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 go. Hmm. Oh. Go, 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 go. A game TV show? <laughs> Just like they're wearing flex tape t shirts. Good God, talk about a kid's dream come true. Not only were you supposed to get as messy as possible, but you were also supposed to get your brother, your sister, and even your parents messy. All while winning fabulous prizes. Sounds fun. If you somehow worked dinosaurs and outer space into it, you would have every kid's equivalent of heaven. <laughs> this show was ingenious, and I mean ingenious. Double Dare was incredible. Like the world's greatest Japanese game show, except nobody dies. <laughs> With an idea so inspired, you have to wonder how anybody could possibly think it up. Well, my thought is, it went something like this. No. Oh. And thus, Double Dare was born. Wow. The first show that literally taught us, fuck it, I want to get dirty. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't know the rules of the show, it went something like this. Two teams, usually made up of a family of four, had to answer a series of questions that were kind of like Trivial Pursuit for Dummies. Hmm. An Encino Man, what actor plays the caveman? Oh, uh, wait, that was on Final Jeopardy last oh my night. God. If the family doesn't know the answer, they say Dare. If the other family doesn't know the answer, they say Double Dare. And thus, the only option left is the physical challenge. Now, the physical challenge is what everyone remembers. This is where you have to do something really messy and really sloppy in order to earn extra points. They were always strange, wacky, and incredibly disgusting. And God, how we loved it. <laughs> and part of the fun was just how strange and weird these physical challenges were. I mean, that's got to be the greatest job in the world to come up with those games. Can you imagine what the creative process for this must have been like? <laughs> I see... Is that a sugar cube or something? Oh, it's... it's a there... It's a piece of paper. Popping balloons that are filled with jelly. <laughs> like their hands aren't attached to you know their arms like you and me. They're attached to their hands. <laughs> Here they go, popping those things. Man. Yeah, that's. Here they go. Let's see if they can you gotta be creative to come up with this sort of stuff. I see. They want drugs. <laughs> bananas. Little man who's driving the bananas. And on the bananas you have to put ice cream and chocolate because they're trying to make a banana split <laughs> my god while driving the bananas mm. push it down and they caught it okay you get out of the other what the oh, hell that was good now you need to go with it yes <laughs> oh, okay anyone in the mood for tacos <laughs> here goes the uh, taco process oh my god uh, we're going over there doing, uh, is that real uh, cheese <laughs> Oh now, after you go through the physical challenges, the family with the most points gets to go through the obstacle course. And this is by far the best part of the show. You had to go through all these insane contraptions and grab the flag at the end of each it one. Looks so Some fun. of these obstacles included Inside Out, Down the Hatch, and the Sunday Slide. Now, unfortunately, they didn't go through with all of the obstacle course selections mm. that they came up with. Such as Steamroller of Fun, Slide <laughs> of Thorns, River of Acid, and probably the most controversial of all, Crucifixion. Wow. But hey, that's not to say they were all family friendly. I mean, look at some of these obstacles. Yeah, they look they... like medieval tortures created by Bozo the Clown. <laughs> and some of them were just downright cruel. Like, remember trying to find the flag in the peanut butter and jelly sandwich? How the fuck are you supposed to find anything in that shit? Yeah. This was always like the hardest one, and yet it was always like the second obstacle. Half the time, they couldn't even get to the other obstacles because they were too busy looking for that damn flag. <laughs> Sometimes... It can be very amusing. Or how about the near misses where the flag just barely slips out of the player's hand? Oh, that's unfortunate. The flag. I can't <laughs> it. Oh, come on, you dicks. Just give him the Porsche. <laughs> well, either way, it was fun to watch. But I doubt yeah. it was fun to taste. 
I mean, what is half of that stuff? Yeah. Oh, we know that could be like toxic waste or something. <laughs> oh, don't eat it. No. <laughs> Love. One of Mother Nature's favorite little gifts. Whatever it was, it was slippery. I don't know if they waxed the floors with banana peels or what, but people were falling <laughs> and breaking bones like crazy. <laughs> this place is like a lawsuit factory. Mm. <laughs> Now, as you may have noticed, the people didn't exactly get a lot of money on the show. I mean, look at this. I think the highest I ever saw it go up to was 700 bucks or something. Wow, that's not That'll a barely lot. pay for the dry cleaning. But the point yeah. of the show wasn't really to win money. It was just to have fun. I mean, can you imagine if they did <laughs> hand out big money on this show? My guess is there would be a lot more swearing. All right, get in there, b Get in there! Uh, <laughs> no, no, you're not listening to me! Come on, b Get in there! God damn it, I can't do it! Son of a b mother b I just can't do it! <laughs> Keep your head up! Keep your f***ing! God <laughs> fucking damn it, we need that money for grandma's operation. Wow. We wouldn't want that. That's reality TV. <laughs> it's reality. Actually, some of these people did take this show very seriously. I mean, look at them. Some of them don't even crack a smile. Okay, dude, this is not an extreme sport, okay? You're in a salad bowl, for God's sake. <laughs> well, let me assure you, we are still crazy. Now, the host of this show is probably the greatest game show host that ever walked the planet, hmm. Mark Summers. Why is he so great? A couple of reasons. First of all, he has to talk about total nonsense throughout the entire show and make it sound like it's intense TV. I mean, how much can you talk about half of this stuff? Take that banana tree. Can they get the milk on them? And yes, they caught one. Now you need some sausage. Get oh my out God. Of your taco. You gotta get back in your taco. <laughs> how many game show hosts are there that can actually, with all seriousness, say, get back in your taco? Mm. Second, he gets just as into the show as the rest of the audience, screaming and yelling and even getting messy sometimes. Third, and definitely not least, this guy was obsessive compulsive. You heard right, obsessive compulsive. Oh, that means damn. he left everything clean, yeah. neat, and symmetrical. I have that. Oh my god. OCD. That mm, is total bitch. devotion to your work. Yeah. I mean, look at all this. They went through his house and moved around a few things. That's my they house. Down on the floor, <laughs> straightening the rug, moving That's the chairs, me. fixing the curtains. I mean, this is how bad he my was. God. OCD is all about compulsive rituals, and mine were about cleanliness and making things symmetrical. Yeah. And this guy had to do Double Dare? The mm. sloppiest and messiest game show that ever aired on TV? <laughs> Give this man a fucking medal. Yeah, he's got some balls. I'm serious, balls. dude. If you can't find a medal to fit the situation, make one up. Yeah. In fact, I'll make one up. <laughs> Mark Summers, on behalf of children everywhere, I give you the honorary dude you got balls Yeah, through. that's what I said. You deserved yeah. it, man. He's you got some it. balls. I mean, look at this shit yeah. that they put in through. Do you even think they knew he had a problem? Nobody did. And yet he just stuck it through like a true professional. <laughs> That would trick Actually, me. Actually, it is kind of funny watching this knowing what we know now. <laughs> that playful laugh suddenly sounds like a cry for help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My mom wanted me to be a doctor. With a great host, wow. a great premise, and a great big load of slime, Double Dare was by far one of the coolest game shows that ever graced the airwaves, and was one of the trademarks that helped make Nickelodeon a household name. Double Dare! Oh my fucking Jesus, it is Double Dare! The show that always pleases, it is Double Dare! Get drowned in several cheeses, it is Double Dare! Oh my god, it's Double Dare! <laughs> Adult beware! Double Dare! It gets in your hair! Double Dare! And everywhere, it is Double Dare! Holy shit, it's Double Dare! I'm the Nostalgia Critic guy, remember? So you don't have to. Balls. Yeah, he's got some balls. Impressive. Very impressive. In Encino Man, what actor plays the caveman? Polly Shore? No, it's not Polly Shore. This person has talent. I don't know why, but it must be of Danny Tanner from Full House. I don't know why. Um, but uh, yeah, that's um, that's very good. I mean, that guy must have some balls to have, you know, obsessive compulsive disorder like myself and, you know, go through that to your job and, you know, get through that. Because if that happened to me, if I saw that mess on the floor and I'd be triggered, I'd be having a damn tantrum saying, what the hell is all this mess? You know, I mean, you should see my uh, place. I mean, my kitchen's spotless. Everything's organized from A to Z. Everything's color coded, organized, Cups are all uh, got to be perfectly aligned. I mean, all my clothes are lined up. I mean, oh my god, you should see my place. Honestly, it's absolutely crazy. Um, and I uh, clean every single day. It's insane. 
but uh, yeah, I mean, good for him. Someone suffering from some sort of uh, obsessive compulsive disorder, and to see him, you know, do double dare like that—that's impressive. This guy's got some balls, because I know how that is. Like, it's very difficult to snap out of that, um, and to you know just allow it to happen. It's triggering. Uh, it's very triggering. So, uh, I, good on you, dear chap. Seriously, good on you. I'm very impressed with you, indeed. You deserve a very great reward. I hope the paycheck was great, because uh, you deserve it. Uh, but yeah, what can I say about Double Dare? Um, it looked fun. It looked uh, absolutely great. But unfortunately, I didn't really watch that. I've never seen it before until today. Um, I have seen something similar, like the Japanese game shows where they got to make... Uh, shapes with their bodies to get through to the next round, or they don't make the perfect shape. Um, they get knocked in the water, stuff like that. I've seen those uh, old game shows and stuff like that. And I watched uh, Gamuku or something like that, where every time they laugh, they get slapped on the ass uh, with a bamboo stick or something like that. Uh, I can't remember how to pronounce it, but I've watched all of those. Those are great, absolutely hilarious. Gamoko, Gamuku. I don't know, I'm probably pronouncing that was so wrong. But it's like no laughing game. It's like a, uh, you know, it's a great uh, thing. Every time they laugh, they get slapped on the ass, and it's hilarious. I've watched so many of those. Um, but uh, yeah, this was a, a good video. Um, very, uh, very looked fun, but not a lot of money. You didn't really earn a lot of money and on Double Dare, but that's okay because I mean, that wasn't that wasn't enough to money to change your life, but it was enough to buy a console and you know, uh, buy a few couple of games for the kids, you know. Um, so yeah, that was uh, pretty cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give a like, comment down below, and make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>